Hey guys, I'm Rose Vane, and welcome back to another part of Rise of the Tomb Raider. This is actually a bonus episode, so for some of you guys who are interested in the Croft Manor DLC, or the 20 year anniversary celebration DLC, or whatever extension this is, um, yeah, we're here. So anyways, yeah, there's no more DLCs I want to actually do. I don't want to go ahead and do, I don't want to do the other stuff, which is like Endurance and Cold Darkness, because those two are kind of like stuff I don't really feel interested in, I think. And so, even if I do them, I just kind of get annoyed a little bit. Um, but for those who own the game, you know, by all means, it wouldn't matter for for me in general because they get to experience it, I don't need to experience it. Uh, or I'll probably touch into it eventually, but that will be far from today's future to deal with. Uh, maybe in the, f like, long haul, but not, not now, or maybe on my own time. Anyways, let's get into the crop manor. I don't know how this is going to work, to be honest. Oh, this is a VR game. Begin a new Croft Manor me Blood Ties story. You can play Croft Manor Blood Ties in VR if an HTC... I didn't know this is actually exclusive to that. Bonus challenge set in Combat Enthusiast. Oh, I see. I'm curious, like, is this actually just... I don't know what the Blood Ties DLC would be. Like, so this is actually Lara Croft Manor, but it's a Blood Ties DLC is what they call it. Okay, <clears throat> that makes more sense. But I don't get what exactly we're going to be doing here. Like, I don't know what to expect in this game so far because this so far has been the only thing left. I'm not going to give it more than 30 minutes, so if, if it surpasses a certain amount of time, I won't go further into it as much, um, and I won't continue it into another episode because... It's something I think that, again, fluffs up the story a little bit more. Final notice to Lara Croft, a current tenant of premises. This is to serve as your final notice for the purposes of terminating your ownership of Croft Manor. You are required to immediately vacate and surrender possession of said manor to Atlas de Mornay, executor of estates. Lara, it is unfortunate that you have forced my hand in this matter. What? But so be it. As you know, your parents appointed me executor of the estate in the event of their absence. Since your mother disappeared, her death was never technically declared. And given the circumstances surrounding your father's death, it's no surprise that he never drafted a formal last will and testament to account for this circumstance. Unfortunately, you have no legal claims to the estate. I'm willing to negotiate a modest monthly stipend from your trust, but only if you leave the manor by week's end. Don't fight me on this, Lara. Your mother wouldn't want that. <laughs> Sincerely, Atlas. There has to be a will or some kind of evidence of what happened to Mum in the manor somewhere. Ah, this actually gives That's us safe. This actually gives us an actual good story continuation. Oh, that's interesting. My birthday crown. <laughs> I was so proud of that thing. <laughs> that's my handwriting. My penmanship was pretty good. Yeah, so basically this is kind of like, uh, how should I say, it's kind of like a Gone Home kind of style where it's like, we, but then we get to explore with Laura Croft, like we get to see what Laura is up to or what her things are like with the house, which is cool actually. A picture with dad and Anna. Never liked wearing dresses, but the color was nice. Hmm. I'm, and I'm also guessing that this takes place during the events after the whole game is over, I think. Dad's map of the forgotten cities of northern Syria. I think they did this on purpose where they just turned the thing away from us so we can see what's up here. He was closer than he knew to finding the prophet's tomb. Sure. <clears throat> I like how they just turn it away and such. Can we go out of the Croft Manor? Or get out to see the, the door other to the library. Man, that's a lot of documents. Seriously, there's a lot of documentation stuff here. Why is there... <laughs> the heater scared me a little bit. I was like, what the heck is that noise? The Grand Hall. I always loved playing in here as a kid. This will be one of the first things to fix. Why the hell is nobody fixing this goddamn hole? I'm annoyed by this. This is your own place, Laura. Why the... What are you doing sitting there on the floor, Mistress Lara? Looking at the compass. Thinking. What about, if I may inquire? 
Just thinking about discovering faraway places, about finding adventure. <laughs> I'm sure you will, my lady. You've the soul of an explorer. But don't grow up too fast. Huh. Interesting. Antique box, I'm guessing. That's the door to outside. I'm assuming we can't go outside. What is this? Boarded up room? Kinda weird. More boarded up room. Kinda weird. Is this a door? I don't know where that to. It's kind of interesting how we get to explore the house. I wouldn't expect... Yeah, I didn't... Lara, you know the West Wing is off limits. I'm sorry. I, I just wanted to see... We've been through this. Was Mum's room in here? Ah. Just stay out of there, darling. I see. Dad was always so protective of the West Wing. Alright. Alright. Okay, so that's blocked off. What is this? Hmm, this belongs to Anna. Most of her belongings are in the guest house. What was she doing in here? <laughs> Someone has a sense of humor. Stop smoking, love. <laughs> I don't know who's R, but it sounds like somebody like the father, by the way. Let's see what's in the box. <laughs> Oh, come on. There's Master Key. When did this game become a freaking... Ah, son of a gun. This DLC is like ridiculous already. <laughs> is this also requiring the tool as well? Oh, no, it doesn't. Okay, we're good. A phoenix figurine. I bet this appealed to Dad's idea of immortality. Of rising from the ashes and being born anew. Sure, I guess. Wouldn't know if that's actually truthfully so. Wouldn't be oh wouldn't be truthful about that. Can I can I I wanna smack that onto the floor now? <laughs> okay, that's where it came out of. Uh, let me explore whatever's in here because there might be a lot of documents and I gotta be careful with it. Document? Lara, I've reviewed the report from your therapist. I have to say, I was surprised to see a clean bill of health. I somehow doubt you've so easily abandoned your irrational claims. Indeed, where have you been the past few weeks? My secretary discovered that you booked a flight to Turkey on the 20th. You can't have been simply sightseeing, as your customs claim suggest. I know you're up to something, <laughs> and I'll be damned if I let you use the Croft assets to indulge the same obsession that led to my sister's death. It's not too late to relinquish your claims on the manor voluntarily. If you refuse, I will find a way to cut you off. Sincerely, Atlas. Oh. Oh. Her, her biological mother. Her biological mother technically is related to Atlas. And I'm guessing Atlas wanted this house sold because he doesn't need it. And that since the father's dead, it's like pointless for either, either him or her to keep it here. Dad's artifacts from the Nile Valley. I always loved looking at these. Dad became interested in immortality myths after his expeditions to Egypt. I mean, it happens. People get interested in immortality, but some people need to know the consequences of it, at least. <laughs> this is the map I made for my first expedition with Dad. It shows a path to the library through the servants' passages. I'm probably going to get confused as hell, as all hell, I think. I don't think I'll refer to that, but we'll see. Find the entrance to... Okay, whatever that is, I'll deal with it when it comes. Let's see what's up with this. This is probably my grandfather, Benjamin. Franklin? I don't know. That was just a toss in the dark for me. What is this? More artifacts here? One of Dad's Yoruba masks. A gift from a friend he met on an expedition in Nigeria. Looks kind of creepy. Kind of creepy, I tell you. Kind of creepy. Alright. Um. Oh, there's another one. Another set of doors. Set a door. Open. Ah! Dad's book about immortality myths might be useful in my research. 
<laughs> it's just a simple book with a lot of boxes involved there. Um, yeah, let's see this, I guess. This is a document. I finally introduced Richard to the family. It went precisely how I imagined. I see but polite grace from mother, indifference and disinterest from father, and thinly veiled contempt from Atlas. Of course they don't approve. To them, Lord Croft is the man who took away their beloved daughter and ruined her long-standing engagement. Though I was never going to marry that repugnant Earl of Farringdon anyway. One might think they would be happy that I was being courted by a genuine Lord of the Realm. It just happens to be Richard Croft. In their eyes, the man who single-handedly ruined a once great family. But there's nothing to be done now. Watching how Richard dealt with their subtle insults and disrespect. Such grace and calm. I know he did it for me. <laughs> I think I'm falling in love with this man. <laughs> It will break my mother's heart, but I cannot live the life she imagined for me. My time with Richard has only made this clearer. Interesting. So the mother kind of... It must of... have been hard for Mum to go against her family's wishes. I'm glad she did. Yeah, I'm glad so too. I mean, I'm just kind of confused why her family had, like, this, like, wanted, like, life for her. It's kind of weird. Dad would have liked me to go to Oxford, but I insisted on UCL. What is UCL? University of... <laughs> yep. Looks real. Roth once offered to forge me a fake diploma to show Dad. Oh, Roth. <laughs> oh, man, I miss Roth. No, Roth died already. Spoiler. Spo spoilers alert if you haven't played... If you haven't seen or played the Tomb Raider 2013. But literally, you guys gotta have to check it out before playing or watching this whole series, to be honest. But, eh. Well, this is a hell of a thing. I met someone tonight quite unexpectedly, but it shouldn't have been, it seems. I've been so buried in my work, so distracted by my latest revelations, I never bothered to notice my surroundings. But there she was, sitting at my table in the library. Her name is Amelia, and apparently she's been studying right next to me. Art history, of all things. I shared some of my research against my better judgment, but I wanted to see how she would respond. And she did not disappoint. <laughs> I felt as if I was suddenly engaged in a mental game of chess, moving and counter-moving in argument. At one point, that poor old librarian had to shush us as if we were children. I feel so foolish for not having noticed her earlier. She's a brilliant woman who's challenged my ideas for the first time in memory. In truth, I don't know if she's feeling as exhilarated as I am right now, but I dare say our conversation was mutually stimulating. For the first time in a long time, I find myself thinking about something else besides my research. I hope she returns for another round tomorrow. <laughs> the father is so quirky. My parents made a good team, challenging each other from the start. That's good. Alright, well... <sighs> Needs a combination. It's got to be in Dad's papers somewhere. Maybe in the library. Maybe. Wait, I can get to the library through the old servants' corridor. What the heck is this? What? Too dark. Going to need a flashlight. I need a flashlight for that? What? That's so random. Alright, let's see what document this is. Hi, Dad. I've been thinking about Mum lately. I wish I knew more about her. How did you meet? What was she like? Winston told me that she was a brilliant artist. Are some of her paintings locked up in the West Wing? And I guess I just want to know, did she love me, Dad? Did she ever say that she did? Maybe I'm just being silly, but will you tell me more about her the next time I'm home from school? I'm very worried about what happened to the mother, truly, but I'm, I mean, I don't know what to expect. I really don't know what to expect with the mother, and I don't think I'll ever get to know if I don't finish this in time, to be honest, but there's so much story in this, and you can't figure out what's truly what and what's truly not. <laughs> well, hello there, Sir Lancelot. <coughs> I won't be borrowing your sword this time. I won't be bother borrowing your sword this time. All right. Let's see, there's some stuff downstairs that I saw. A notebook, I believe. 
Probably, probably mom's journal again. The offer came in the post last week, and I still haven't told Richard. He flew ahead to Tibet, where I will meet him shortly. I never told him I was submitting my work. Never thought there was a chance of being accepted. Oh, but a gallery tour is not something I can pass up. The show will take me away from England for over a year. I'll begin in New York and travel across the United States and... Oh, God! I'm giddy even writing these words. When Rich and I were married, I was prepared to relegate my painting to a hobby. But it was Richard who objected, who gave me my atelier and studio. Without that support, I might still be painting boring landscapes. Now I can't shake the foolish sensation that leaving would be a betrayal. He will laugh at that and insist I accept, even though I know it will break his heart to be apart. He never once asked me to sacrifice any part of my life for his. I have, of course, in a thousand small ways over the years, but he would never ask. The discussion can wait, and I will join him in Tibet. I won't cast a shadow over his find. I will be by his side in his triumph, as I know he will stand by my side in time. Hopefully, we, but yeah, I hope that he stands by her, because literally they get married later on, so it makes sense. More documents? Oh, jeez. Okay, what's this relic? What is this? Another one of Dad's immortality artifacts. I think Roth bought this for him from a trader in Greece. It's like Ouroboros, it looks like. Kind of related, kind of style. Alright, let's see what's over here. I believe this is the library, maybe? Oh, no, it's locked. Probably that's... That's probably... Oh, there's a master key thing again. Ah, How many more master keys do we have to have? Damn it. Oh, there's a bust. Who's this? Hmm, not sure. I really need to brush up on my ancestors one of these days. Probably great-great-grandfather. Maybe it might be. Who knows? I don't know if it reminds me of someone. I don't feel like it reminds me of someone in another game. I feel like it might be from another game. Could be. Alright, let's go through the library. Let's go ahead. I mean, since that's the only pathway left to kind of progress. I know there's a document downstairs. I'm going to ignore that for now. Come on, seriously? Locked. Hmm. There's got to be another way through. Oh yeah, there was another way through. I remember. Alright, well. At least we know. Is, is this also locked? Let me double check. Yep. Locked. Need a key to open this. Oh my goodness. There's so many things that are just locked. What the heck? There's a document here. Yeah, I remember seeing this. Lara, since your return from your expedition to Yamatai, I've grown increasingly alarmed at your erratic behavior. I can only assume you suffered some kind of psychological trauma and are only acting out as a call for help. I want you to know that I hear you, loud and clear. Anna and I agree that it's time for you to be evaluated by a professional. I took the liberty of arranging an introduction to a highly qualified colleague of mine. You should be receiving the details in the post soon. I want to impress upon you the importance of this, Lara. As executor of the estate, it is my duty to see that it is left in capable hands. And if I may be blunt, you're acting like your father when he was at his worst. He nearly lost the manor himself in those days. I'd hate for you to repeat his mistakes. I encourage you to embrace the help I'm offering. Sincerely, your uncle. Alright, so Atlas has been sort of kind of acting like my father's in, in my father's place, I guess, it seems like. Hey Jonah. What the sorry for not getting back to you sooner. I've decided to do some research at the manor. A lot has happened and I need some time to think about what I want to do next. This old place is filled with memories and secrets. Uncle Atlas has tried to keep me out of here for so long, I don't even know if I want to keep it. <laughs> but after everything that's happened, maybe I can find out what it still means to me. If it's worth fighting him for, I'll let you know how things worked out when I'm back in London. The way she speaks kind of felt monotone. Like she was just kind of like, Ugh, another message to Jonah I have to give. Damn it. Alright, let's go upstairs. Though 
the thing upstairs is kind of where we're supposed to go for the library. Alright, so, yeah, in general, I just feel like... Oh, jeez, this is also blocked off. Where the hell do I have to go for the library? Everything is locked up with either a master key needing to be unlocking or something else in process. Nope. We don't have a flashlight. I don't- Too dark. Where would you find a flashlight, really? Where would you find a flashlight? Jesus. This seems too incredibly ridiculous so far. I'm like, I'm trying to find my way through this whole thing. I've only gotten like a good chunk of the story about Atlas and like who he is and what he's done for Laura while uh... <sighs> Such a waste of time right now. Jesus. I'm like trying to scan as much as I can as well, so it's like impossible almost to find something good. Jesus, give me something good, game. Give me the good stuff. I mean, this also looks like it's unlocked. Like, although it says, oh no, it, it is unlocked. What? Got to remember to pack this for my next trip. Oh, this is the uh, the flashlight, isn't it? Yeah, thank God, finally. Yes. Should be able to explore the dark now. I see. So the reason why they prevented me from doing that, preventing me from getting the flashlight first, is because they want me to discover the the broken door or the secret door, which kind of makes no sense. It doesn't. Just don't block people's way just because it doesn't exist yet. There's a document behind here. What's up? Amelia. The news has reached Mother. She knows that you broke off your engagement with the Earl of Farringdon. She is beside herself with worry. But, for the moment, she's controlling the narrative. As far as anyone knows, you're just having innocent second thoughts. But the moment your affair with Lord Croft goes public, it will be too late. Ye. Our name will be as ruined as this man you've chosen to bed. Don't you see that you're being selfish, Amelia? Please, consider your family. You're a de Mornay. Everything you do has a greater effect on us all. I'm coming down to London soon. Don't do anything rash until we have a chance to talk. So Atlas tries to tell, trying to, trying to convince Amelia that it's a bad idea to just do that. But then again, it also means that, uh, it also means that, oh. Falling apart. Maybe I should just let my uncle have this place. I mean, what would be the point of have, letting him have it, to be honest? What is over here, actually? Come on, seriously? Master Key again. They say a good test of a relationship is how well you travel together. Well, I'd say Amelia and I have passed that test with flying colors. <laughs> Indeed, these last few months in Egypt have been nothing short of extraordinary. She and Roth get on like old uni chums. Uh in fact, the two have spent more than a few nights drinking and playing cards into the wee hours. Despite her decidedly proper upbringing, Amelia's taken to roughing it more than I ever have. She fits in and connects with the local populace with such amazing empathy. Because of her, I've had a bit of an unexpected breakthrough in my research. She managed to convince an artifact dealer in Old Town to sell me a magnificent and quite unusual Tibetan scroll. From what I can tell, it seems to contain details surrounding an immortality ritual of some sort. I think it's time for me to take the next step with Amelia. In fact, I don't think I can wait any longer. I will ask for her hand tomorrow in the bright Egyptian sun amidst the dust and ruins. So is that the representative of your marriage? I'm not surprised he asked her to marry him as soon as he got the idea. I mean, in the dust and the ruins doesn't sound like a romantic spot, but okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm just I'm just saying I mean it, it might not it might come as a joke but it's kind of like weirdly why is there a rat what now Amelia I know we have had our differences in recent years 
I've tried my best to keep an open mind about your relationship with Richard, but I just can't let you go on this ill-conceived expedition without saying my piece. You say Richard's theories have merit. You say that he may have actually stumbled upon some mythic unknown truth, but I have seen nothing to support such claims. And while your word may have been enough in times past, I cannot let you squander away what remains of your name and reputation and that of our family, truth be told, on some damned foolish crusade. I intend to go to Richard's investors and let them know exactly how he's spending their money, but I want to give you a chance to put a stop to this yourself. Please, don't go to Tibet. If not for me, at least for Lara. Wait. Is Amelia had... Did Amelia have Laura before the whole gist of it all? I didn't know that they... It's still just as creepy as I remember. I didn't know that they both did it before the whole Tibet. Because I thought Tibet was just a thing, like, a lot later on, I guess. Let me interact with this. I should be okay with that. Right, let's see, what's this? Document again. So much documents now. My lord. I hope this missive finds you on a successful expedition and in good health. Before I bore you with estate affairs, I wanted to let you know that our little angel has been into some mischief. <laughs> As always, I indulged her in our usual game of chess. Over the course of the game, she broached the subject of her mother. She's having trouble remembering her now, and wanted to enter her ladyship's atelier, which you sealed off, to play on her mother's piano. Oh. It enraged her when she wasn't allowed to go in, of course. For someone so young, she has such strong emotions. Later in the day, she set a trap for me <laughs> in the walk-in freezer. Of all <laughs> oh, is this Before the... <laughs> I knew what was happening, I found myself locked inside. <laughs> Mrs. Sheffield discovered me an hour later, shivering and somewhat peeved. It took us an additional hour to find Lara in the grounds. I know all her hiding places, of course, but this time she really did not want to be found. Call it years of observation, but I can tell when she's out of sorts. My lord, if I may be so bold, she misses you fiercely. She is lonely for her father. Please consider a call as soon as you are able. I love how they took the reference of the old Lara Croft Paul game. Winston. I remember being so angry. He was always so patient with me. King to Queen One. I'm going to win this time, Winston. <laughs> Clever girl. But you should know by now, winning isn't everything. Queen to King's Bishop Six. Check. Easy for you to say. You always win. Knight takes Queen. What I mean to say is try to enjoy the journey, Lara. Don't rush to victory. Bishop to King Seven. I know, Winston. I just want... Oh no! I didn't even see that! You should also know by now, I'm not to be trifled with on this board, young lady. Mate. Oh, I am going to win. Someday. Someday. <laughs> Alright, let's see what this is. Artifacts. I would play chess with our old butler Winston on this board. Never could beat him. I always chose white. Maybe if I let him go first once in a while, I might have won. Maybe, but I don't know. All right. Anyways, yeah. So that it make it, it, it's funny because it is an old reference to an old Lara Croft game. Oh come on, a crowbar is now needed now. God dang it. Jesus, if it's not a master key, it's a crowbar. Jesus. Oh, another diary. Let me or yeah, journal, document, whatever it is. Ah, oh, jeez. Rats. Uh, yeah, we're gonna have to pull this backwards. Oh. Oh, jeez. The collision of that is, like, yawn insanity. Oh, there's another one. Jesus, there's so much documents in this game. Alright. This is kind of slowing me down with all the reading on its own, I think. Oh, wait, what the heck? Oh, we have to grab another one out of there. Okay, let me go ahead and grab this one out. I'm gonna probably skip the reading. Like, ignore the readings. Uh, interact, please. Okay, so we can't pull it back. Okay, we gotta pull it front. Over to here. Alright, so let me go and click on them. Or, or pick them up. Pause. 
All right, so pause and read it, of course. I'm gonna probably think that these are just stuff that I think that are, like, fluff for the storyline, I think. Just to kind of get the storyline background check a little bit. Um, I know I'm already at the 30-minute line, so I'm gonna have to be careful here. Because I did say I was gonna stop immediately, even if it's gonna not be a complete storyline of some sorts. So the story... Um... I know, I know, it's not really ideal, but it's kind of something I wanted to keep under. Everything is almost ready for Mistress Lara's birth. Expedition surprise, it's been a bit of a all hand on decks effort. Organizing the affair and keeping it secret, she's obsessed with Egypt. Mem oh yeah, because the father sees too much of Egypt and that's why she's obsessed with Egypt now. This will be good for her. She's been acting up lately, uh, but I know she's just craving more of her father's attention. She's buried in his research. It will be a nice moment for the two to reconnect, and I do believe he needs it as much as she does. Okay, <clears throat> so they were trying to—they're trying to force artifact. Dad loved a good bottle of wine. Hmm, I can still smell his favorite Bordeaux. Interesting. Alright, let me go ahead and get in here, I guess. But yeah, let, let's try to get there. Dad, this is it! The basement of despair! Indeed, Lara. Muster your courage, for this is the only path to the Library of Infinite Knowledge. Look there! See the string? An ancient Egyptian tripwire. The Keepers of Knowledge want none to disturb their treasures. We must tread carefully. Let me lead. I know how to spot all the traps. I'm sure you do, my darling. Lead on. Jesus. Oh wait, this is the serpent to the to the to the thing, isn't it? Hmm. Water damage from the main hall above. What is this? One of the wire traps Winston made for my birthday expedition. <laughs> Winston used my hair ribbons to make this. He and Dad put a lot of work into this birthday surprise. It's good enough. I mean. She's now grown up to the point where she has to actually go through these kind of real traps to sort of get the idea in it. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna skip ahead for, or I'm gonna try to get as far as I can. But I mean, I don't know the truth behind her mother, really. It's kind of true. But use the servants' passages to reach the library. I just want to get to the. I want to get down to the just the story. Like I don't want to deal with the background surrounding right now because I do want to try and uh, I do want to try to get to the ending of this because I don't know how her mother died that's the only one thing I think a lot of people would want right now what is this plans for adding electricity to the manor dad used to say his granny hated all the bright lights <laughs> is there anything in the back hmm there's a missing page interesting uh, that's a document. I'm not gonna read that for now. Alright, so that would be to go back to that. Oh, wait, this is something else. Okay, Dad's ledger has to be in here somewhere. This is the Hopefully Dad's office? A combination to the safe. This is the Dad's office? What? Oh my goodness. Oh, there's so much journals and such. No! How much more journals? Oh, I'm not gonna play that. That's gonna be copywritten. Wait, what? It appears Sir Reginald's helmet fell off. Or didn't I put it back properly? Maybe that's where we need to take a step forwards here. Oh, come on. You're locked too? Jesus. Master key again. Jesus. <laughs> Probably the master keys with the, uh, the combination and such. Is that not it? No. Maybe this? I remember this now. Each district in ancient Egypt had a symbol and a number. I always preferred these symbols to the actual number hieroglyphs. I have a feeling that's your code. Oh, let me see, let me see. These two myths are referencing the same source material. But where did I see this image? Dad, I think it's this one. In the chapter on Egyptian districts. Why, yes, I think you're right, Lara. I remember the page, with the illustration of Ra. My goodness, you've been paying attention, haven't you? This could be an important breakthrough. Does this mean I'm your research assistant? No. That and more, my darling girl. 
Uh, whatever. I'll, I'll take it. Me back. This was always one of my favorite books in this library. I used to trace hieroglyphs. Okay. Those were good times. The best times. Alright, where is Sir Reginald's freaking head? So we got the, the number sort of thing, I guess. Um... My assumption is that the door is now open. No, okay. So that's not it. So I have to legitimately look through the whole library just to see if I can find his information here. Oh, that kind of sucks. Alright, well... Alright, yeah, that's kind of sucks a little bit. Alright, well... I'm all out of time, I think, at this point. Let me see, it might be this thing? I've reached the monastery. All right, let me pause that. I can read it faster, I guess, for the time being. As Roth predicted, it has it was deep, hidden deep in the Himalayas, and now I am standing on these high stone walls. I am overwhelmed by the sheer beauty of the mountains that surrounds me. It is simply breathtaking, but the what adds to their spiritual majesty is the truth of this place. The monks welcomed me, as is their way, but they seem to expect me. They must have known that someone like me would eventually come seeking answers. I know this is the place. They con they've conducted the ritual before. I have seen the evidence the distinctive sim symbols carved into the floors, the art displayed on the inner chamber's walls. They've created the elixir before, and they will again if I can convince them. I sent Amelia a message straight away. I want her by my side for this discovery. Mm, Dad was looking for an elixir. Was it the elixir of life? There's something in the back I noticed. This is my handiwork. I used to love drawing pictures of tigers. Aww. Cute. Spent so many hours in here, reading, dreaming of my own adventures. So... Yeah, I'm gonna have to end it here for this bonus episode. Sadly, oh wait, there's a ladder. Oh, jeez, messed it up. Messed up the jump. Come on. Collision, you gotta fail me now. Why is it not letting me climb? Is it too rusty? There we go. I was like, what the fudge? Why couldn't you climb? This picture was taken in the library. 1820? 1820 additions to the main hall in progress. Hmm. Maybe that's the code? Feels like the code, I guess. Alright, climb down, climb down, come on. Alright. Well, we can't get up there. Because that's broken now. Didn't realize there was more upstairs, apparently. So I'm guessing we're gonna have to climb our way up, it seems. Oh, there it is. I found this, the ladder. Took quite a tumble off of this old thing when I was a girl. Mm. Still feel it in the shoulder from time to time. <sighs> Alright, let's go up here and see what's up here. Uh, interact, I guess. Oh, wait, I had to move back so that it can give us room to move towards the thing, I guess. Alright, let's go down again. There we go. Uh, please, let me interact. Alright, well, I, I'm gonna have to end it very soon here, but give me a second. I wanna just get this, at least get at least get this, the story puzzle, and then kind of give it an answer, I guess, for where to go next afterwards. Um, because I'm pretty sure we'll find our answer to how we move on from this area, I guess. Is this it? Hmm, blank. Except for the image of a key. Probably put I it. Remember this map now. It leads to the master key. But we made it with a special kind of invisible ink. It could only be seen with the heat of a fire. Oh, come on. I'm mm. blocked out again. I think I stashed one of Winston's master keys in here when I was a kid. Uh. Why? Why does everything have to be stashed away and everything? Alright, anyways, thank you guys for watching. Uh, I'm sorry I have to end it like this. It's like the weirdest thing ever.
Is there no way back either? Jesus. Alright, well, it's gonna take me longer than usual because there's gonna be a lot of things. There's too much things in this, and I think I killed myself by putting so much document reading into this whole mix and all. Hmm, I need something to light this. Oh my god, there's so many missing things. Oh my god, okay, anyways, thank you guys for watching. Leave a like, comment, subscribe if you guys haven't. Hope to see you guys in the next, or not in the next part. Hope to see you guys in another series or video of mine. I just wanted to take a shot at the lighter, the, the Laura Manor, or the Croft Manor, um, or aka the Blood Ties DLC is what it's called. I didn't know it was called Blood Ties DLC. But I'm going to not continue this forwards. Uh, so I'm going to leave this into the mystery. So for those of you guys who have probably like been through this whole thing, probably, uh, yeah, might expect a lot more to it. But I don't think I can expect much of it now because there's really nowhere else to go with this one. Um, or that I don't want to keep going forward. Well, you know what? Mm, I really want to go forwards. I really want to get this completed because... I kind of don't like it where it's like I don't have any idea what's going on with the Blood Ties DLC. I really didn't know this was going to be a longer series or a longer DLC than I expected it. I thought it was just like a simple walk around like a museum-like kind of thing or like sort of like you just look at your achievements or look at your father's history and stuff like that and like it was that's it. But instead it's a puzzle piece of going around and being an idiot sandwich without knowing like what you gotta do i i just don't get it i just don't know why this is a thing anyways thank you guys for watching i'm gonna continue this anyway screw it i'm gonna freaking continue it right after this one um because i want to separate them i don't want to make it an hour series or an hour episode every time so anyways thank you guys for watching leave a like comment subscribe if you guys have hope you guys in the next part nobody minds and hope you guys have a great amazing day we can night we're watching this and next in the next episode i will try to finish this but I will also cancel out all the readings because they're super slow. I mean, I can read, I can kind of see why they need the reading of slow, being slow because it conveys the feeling. But it's so god dang slow and it takes too much time. I'd rather read it too quick, read it quickly and then summarize it and then be done with it so it doesn't have to take so much of our time here. So anyways, see you guys in the next part. So Roz, out. <laughs>